Welcome back to Economic Outlook. Today I want to continue my series on changing energy consumption in developing economies. In our last entry, we saw that energy usage in more developed markets provided a useful context to view energy consumption in the developing world. China is the most notable developing country because of its spectacular record of economic growth. Chinese energy consumption reflects the policy decisions which have led to this growth. In 2005, industrial activity consumed almost two-thirds of China's energy expenditures. Transportation and commercial activity consumed another quarter of the total, while commercial activity and agriculture each used 5% of China's energy. This distribution of energy reflects China's commitment to industrial development. China is a model for other developing economies because of its ability to build industrial capacity to export to the rest of the world. This strategy, paired with skillful management of the yuan, has made China the world's foremost manufacturing center. Many other developed economies follow a similar model, albeit on a smaller scale than China. Emerging markets frequently rely on weak currencies and exports to build current account surpluses. This strategy necessitates a focus on industrial growth at the expense of domestic consumption because the weakness of the country's currency makes imports expensive. This cycle creates vastly different patterns of consumption than those found in more developed economies. A comparison between China and the United States is especially instructive. As expected, there was a substantial gap between China and the United States relative industrial energy consumption. Per capita consumption will be addressed later. The corollary to China's focus on industry is the United States transportation situation. However, the United States also used more energy for commercial and residential purposes than China. This is likely a result of greater consumer affluence in the United States, along with its focus on a service-based economy. Agricultural consumption also displays a marked difference between the two countries. Proportionally, China spent four times as much energy on agriculture. This reflects the gap in efficiency between developed nations' agricultural programs and those in most emerging nations. The relationship between China and the United States energy consumption is typical of countries at different points in their economic development cycles. Other developing countries like India, Brazil, and Russia display similar consumption patterns relative to more developed markets like the European Union or Japan. Although the proportion of energy spent on industry is highest in China, India, Brazil, and Russia all use a higher percentage than the three developed nations. With the exception of Brazil, the emerging markets all use less energy on transportation. Trends in agriculture and commercial development are also similar. Agriculture is far more energy intensive than in developed markets, as is commercial consumption. This is not surprising given the efficiency gap in agricultural production. Additionally, the reduced consumption in the commercial sector among developing nations fits within the context of building an export-led economic system that inhibits domestic consumer spending. Taken as a unit, Brazil, Russia, India, and China exemplify most emerging markets' energy usage patterns compared to more developed economies. Together, the BRIC countries in the developed world reflect the same pattern seen between China and the United States. The developed economies spent twice as much of their energy resources on transportation as did the emerging markets. Similarly, the BRIC states used almost twice as much of their energy on industrial activity. Agricultural consumption for the BRIC countries was more than tw twice the rate of consumption for the developed world. This shows that different levels of agricultural development is not unique to just the United States or China. The developed world used more of its energy to produce food, but suffered from inefficiency. The lack of consumption for commercial purposes again supports the idea that developing nations have smaller commercial sectors as a result of the export-oriented monetary policy many of the states practice. To summarize, the results of the comparison between the BRIC states and the, and the developed world are similar to those found when comparing the United States to China. The developed world uses more of its energy resources for industrial and agricultural production. 
the developed world uses more for transportation and commercial activity. Up to this point, the information I've shown have been purely relational figures. The data measures the proportion of energy each country uses relative to its total. It's also important to examine how much energy the countries use in gross terms. In my next entry, we'll look at how much actual energy each country consumes by sector, as well as per capita consumption. Thank you for joining me here at Economic Outlook, and be sure to check out my website at www.econoutlook.com. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.